ass, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. Hey, it's crunch time here on the jump. Let's talk about the Raptors because they set a franchise record with 40 assists last night in their win over Charlotte. I mean, in your forces to be reckoned with rankings in the East, where did the Raptors stand for you? Well, let's see. They're doing this without Kyle Lowry, without Serge Ibaka, and OG Ananobi got poked in the eye again last night. I'm going to say they're high in the reckoned with rankings. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah they're going to be a problem in the playoffs. If they just keep rotating the basketball like this, this is going to make the team dangerous. It's not no ISO basketball on their team. They just rotating it. And you get better shots when you do that. And that's what's going to make them a solid team if they continue just doing that. Like not just have an ISO basketball. Rotate the basketball more, and that's what you get. A win, because you're rotating it. You're not having this one player have the basketball in his hands at all times. Everybody getting a touch and getting a, a better shot off. They got a lot of depth, man. Fast guy, I mean, this guy right here has emerged. 40 assists. You think he can win most improved twice in a row? He wants to. He told me that the other day. Yeah. Plus 10, two years in a row. Yeah. I think so. Absolutely. I think so. Yeah, doesn't, most improved doesn't just have to be come out of nowhere to being elite presence. It can be up to the superstar also. Just saying. Let's talk about Buddy Heal because he's been fined 25 grand for kicking oh, the ball oh. into the stands on yeah. Sunday. Marcus Morris missed this flo oh, sorry, Marcus Smart missed the floater in the final seconds. Gabe Sacramento the win, buddy. Oh, Boom. Now, Tracy, that's better not. Yo, that is a I better not. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm basically about to ask Tracy if it's fair to find Buddy, which is kind of okay. like... Okay, here we go. 10 out of 10. That's how you kick it. I'm asking the box, is it okay to leave the henhouse gate open? Do you think that, I mean, how did his compare to That's first? an NFL-level punt right there. I was really looking for a call from the NFL. Level. <laughs> by the way, he did it twice. We didn't show the first one. That was, a, that was only a $10,000 fine, by the way. Wow. Right? <laughs> Those are the days. That's what happened. <laughs> right, inflation. <laughs> Let's talk about the Thunder because they are in L.A. for back-to-back. -back. Lost to the Clippers, of course, very dramatically last night. Chris Paul, though, had 22 points, four dimes, four steals against his old squad. They will take on the Lakers tonight. Now, the Thunder will be 11-point underdogs against the Lakers. But still, two nights in L.A., spotlight, now national eyeballs on both of these. Do you think this is a little bit of a trade showcase for CP? I don't know if it's a showcase because here's why. I don't think if you polled all the executives around the league, there's no one who says Chris Paul can't play or Chris Paul can't help my team. That's not the issue. The issue is the salary and the age. And the no one want to take on his contract. It's too much money. They could put you in a luxury tax. You know, you know he's a solid goer. He is a floor general for a team. He can help a team out and win some games and possibly win a championship because he facilit he facilitate everything. He get guys open, put them in great position to score. Like he's just a floor general. It's just a contract and then his age. Nobody want to take on that type of money. And his age like that. There's nothing he can do on the court now that what is going to erase it. You think $44 million when he's 36. No, 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 no. That's what I'm talking about. I get it. And the salary is a salary, and that is the biggest set of numbers everyone knows. But there became a narrative last season of he's old and breaking down. And in fact, what happened was, if you looked at the numbers of when he was playing with James Harden versus not with James Harden, they were very different. Good. And he is now playing in an offense where he can kind of have more of his way, and we're seeing good numbers. Yeah, well, I, I don't think it's a showcase. I mean, Chris still can play at a high level. Um, I, I think he is doing a, well, he would do a great job of being a mentor to Shea Gill over mm -hmm. there. Uh, but I would like to see him with a contender, and I, I just think that will probably be impossible due to his salary being so high because I mean to trade Chris Paul and did that 44 million dollar contract you're going to want a superstar back well it has been tra that contract has already been traded once for in the another last six months. I'm just saying it's pot you can let never me, trade that contract you let me ask traded. you this would there be anything that would make you if you were Chris Paul and you that's so that was my next question would you give the money back would it's a player option you give up the option or partially guarantee the option. You can do that. You can reduce your guarantee to like 50%, for instance. 
<laughs> At 44 million. <laughs> 44 million. 32. Plus, plus, you have to remember, too, oh. it's complicated for him. He is the Players Association president. Yes. So, like, you kind of, you worry about setting a precedent but, like that. Yeah, as the not, guys but it's, it's happened not before. Not I know, but it's a little different. He did Torkel who did that. They but get yes, once, 100%. So. He could, and maybe he'll decide it's worth it. I don't know. This just ended the buzzer. <laughs> Here's Anthony Davis like today. <laughs> he was talking about style. Take a listen here. Nah, because he know, um, you know, he knows my style, and that's why we work so well together. Like, some of the stuff that you see around the league, like, Russ is my, my brother, like, we are, <laughs> we are super close, <laughs> but he had some pants over rubber bands on, and I just, <laughs> like, I'll probably fire my style like Russ. <laughs> yep, there you go. That question was about if his stylist ever presents him with, like, outlandish options, and he basically just completely called out his friend Russell Westbrook. So I wanted to know whose style you would rather cap, AD's or Russ's? <laughs> <laughs> Russ in his own lane. <laughs> I'm going with AD. He's if I a, had to pick one, Russ's is in his own lane. He's in a different world. He's in the fashion world, right? Yeah. Like, we, we dress like normal people. Like, like Andy Davis dressed like a normal person you might see down the block. First of all, you and Tracy don't dress the same. He well, dressed I mean, much like, like, yeah, he, he got, he got the accessories. You don't get, yeah. and, and his clothes, too. You don't get to say we when you're sitting my, next to my him. My eye, by the way, is red because the, the light is glaring the off bling. of that chain. The bling. Back into my eyeball. The bling is I'm happening. Gonna need, I'm going to need some... Yeah, Russ River is different from AD. Like, Russ show up in new wardrobe. Most of every 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 game that you've never seen, and AD he just show up, you know, with something simple. It's just two different personalities. Speaking of style, we also had some alternate city jerseys uh, unveiled today. So you can go on the internet and find those Mavericks Timberwolves. T Mac, you are two times scoring champion. Try again. Dude, that that, that thing is new. Watch, man. Is that thing new? <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out